listen to Dr. Perkins and put down those cookies. Hello everyone, Dr. Perkins here with a COVID-19 update. Before we begin, I want to say we miss you students. We can't wait till you return. I miss my student group hugs and I look forward to that in the future. I want to talk about a few things during this video. It's going to be a quick video, so please pay attention. Why are we here? We are providing essential services per the executive order of Governor Ducey. So that's why you will see some activity on the campus. Most people are working remotely, but some of us are here at district, again, providing the essential services. A big thank you goes out to our classified staff. They are kicking butt and taking names with services in the morning, breakfast, and lunch. And then we had our teachers come in a couple times to continue to provide our extra credit enrichment packets. So please take advantage of the food and the packets. Okay, let's dive into a few things. Because this closure has not been lifted, as of right now, we are closed through April 10th. Again, through April 10th. I'm sure sometime before that, the governor will come back and let all the superintendents know if we're going to stay closed longer or not. So stay tuned for that information. But what does this do while we're closed? What's the impact? So here are some things. Because of this closure through April 10th, it says right here uh, this, that public schools are not required to extend the school year. So that's a good thing. We don't have to make up these missed days, in other words. Some other notes that are worthy. During this closure, it directs public schools to continue offering general educational opportunities, which we are, the extra credit enrichment packets. It also states that if the closure is lifted before the end of our calendar school year, that we do resume school, and we will. We'll let you know when that uh, information comes across my desk. Cancels a statewide assessment, so the AZ Merit it's now AZM2 in the AIMS Science, so that is canceled for the remainder of this year. My notes also say it designates a public school's 2019-2020 letter grade to be the same as last year, so we'll keep the same letter grades. So last year we were a C for elementary, we're less than 1% from a B, so let's keep pushing our kids, not for the letter grade sake, but for their sake, so that they are smarter, sharper, stronger, bigger, faster. So we'll keep that elementary as a C, and our high school is a D. We're seven percentage points away from becoming a C. And then lastly, exempts our third grade students from the requirement that they obtain a passing score on the reading portion of the statewide assessment, since we don't have one. So they don't have to worry about that to be promoted from third grade to fourth grade. And then lastly, we're waiting for word from our State Board of Education to adopt rules for high school graduation. So there's no direction from the state yet. It will come, and we will communicate with uh, that information to you. So call me if you have any questions. My number is 928-683-2225. Extension 114. Everyone, please practice safe practices out there, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Something I do want to add, I know you have extra credit enrichment packets that you're working on. When you look at our student data, which I have thoroughly, a big factor is math and reading. So I encourage you to practice while we have some downtime math facts with your kids. That means 5 times 2, 6 times 7, 3 times 6 really get them in that mode of understanding their multiplication tables. Also, reading, reading, reading. Our kids struggle with vocabulary. That means they're not reading a lot. So if you can please, during this downtime and beyond that, implement 20 minutes of reading every day, if it's a Monday through Friday with the weekends off, so our kids can get more familiar with vocabulary. Once their vocabulary grows, now their comprehension grows. That's the understanding piece. And they're stronger in the literacy piece. So math facts and reading are great tools to practice during uh, this downtime. You can put books in your cars as you travel to Phoenix, have your kids read out loud to you. All right, hang in there. We'll see you soon. Remember to wash your hands.